make sure that the person creating diagnosis understands this disorder, is well trained, also understand there's a lot of comorbidity around other, you know, you know, issues like depression. So this anxiety, is my and so all those things can make it difficult. But there's a certain sort of foundation. This is my incense burner. It's for my frankincense because I got some frankincense and myrrh. And uh, I have to light a coal. Wait a minute. Put it up here like this. And maybe that will help. There we go. So you got to get the coal started. This is a hookah coal, so y'all know, y'all are probably familiar with hookah. And then it'll just, um, the fire will start and it'll burn. And then once it's done burning, then I'm going to set my, um, my grate over it. And now you got to be really careful with this. Um, don't let it, don't leave it unattended. Don't let any kids play around it or with it. Make sure that wherever you set it, that it's off somewhere where, where it can be, um, where it can be watched and monitored. All right, so now my coal is pretty hot, so I'm going to put the grate over. I'm going to put that over it. And then I'm going to grab my frankincense and my myrrh. Uh, frankincense is like a tree sap, so, but it smells really amazing when it burns, and this is kind of what it looks like. There's some frankincense and some myrrh in there. The myrrh looks like this. It's brown. Wait, I think that's actually frankincense. But basically, you just set it on top and just let it let it burn just like that. Um, the smell is incredible. Like it'll it'll it's a different fragrance. Now this is a Turkish incense burner. I got it off of Amazon for about I don't know twelve bucks, maybe less than that even. Oh, maybe it was like more like twenty five. Whatever. I want you to see the myrrh, though, because the myrrh is the same thing. It's a form of sap. Yeah, but it's that's a, a shard of myrrh. And you just put that right on there, and you just let it go. And it, you can almost see it burning right now. That's what it looks like. It's so pretty. And you want to set that back. You don't want that sitting on the edge of anything. You make sure that that coal is constantly attended to, and when you're not using it, make sure that you extinguish it because you don't want a house fire. I really wish I could show you some more of the myrrh, though. It probably, yeah, it probably went to the bottom because it's so much smaller. But, uh, okay. So. But it's like seven ninety nine, and you get it. I have a lot of it, so um, it was seven ninety nine for a bag of of natural frankincense. So that's one of my scent game. Part of my scent game is burning um, frankincense and myrrh in my Turkish burner. Yay!